Hey book nerds, welcome to Shelf Bite here on the Shelf Addiction Podcast. Shelf Bite features spoiler-free book and audiobook reviews in five minutes or less. I am your host, Tamara Ford, and if you'd like to chat with me about the book reviewed in this episode, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Shelf Addiction. If you enjoyed this show and the content that I provide on this podcast, please share this episode with someone who enjoys books today. Thank you for your support. First, quickly, I'll run down the book stats before I begin. The Tiger Catcher is the first book in the End of Forever trilogy written by Paulina Simons. The hardcover comes in at 464 pages, and the expected publication date is May 28, 2019 by HarperCollins. This book was provided to me by the publisher in exchange for an honest review. As I mentioned a moment ago, I received this book from the publisher, so I did get a paperback advanced reader's copy. The first thing that jumped out at me was the beautiful pink cover art with the couple holding hands on the front. I thought it was really cute, and I thought that was a good indicator of what I was in for. And I gotta say, I can appreciate good cover art. So, you know, obviously that was appealing to me. This was my first time reading Paulina Simmons, and I'm glad that I got the opportunity. The fact that this book is compared to The Time Traveler's Wife and Outlander gives you a huge hint to where this book will take you. Time travel for love? I think so. Can two soulmates be bound across time and space? You'll have to read and find out. This is the story of Julian and Josephine. He lives a charmed life in LA. He's young, he's good looking, he has a successful business and everything changes after an encounter with a woman who is an actress named Josephine. He is smitten with her immediately, but Josephine is not what she seems and she has a huge secret that is pretty devastating. After all seems lost, Julian meets a stranger who tells him how to find Josephine again. And if he's willing to give up everything in his life, and take this trip, uh, he may find her, although he may not return. So I have to say that this is the very first romance that I've encountered where I find both the heroine and the hero unlikable. Yet I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. The characters just needed to work a bit harder for me to root for them. And in the end, I did. At times, Josephine seems spoiled and clearly uh, she's a complete liar. Julian, on the flip side, is a sucker. He's completely taken with her, no matter the cost. I did enjoy that Julian is a blogger and I really liked the unique excerpts throughout the story from the desk of, quote, Mr. Know-it-all, end quote. This couple falls fast and hard. So if you're okay with insta-love or even infatuation, I think you will enjoy this romance as that is where this relationship falls on the spectrum. I think that Paulina succeeded in making this couple and their problems show more of the realistic side of love at first sight. Things aren't always as they appear. Paulina also does a masterful job of tying the parts that require research and the imagination of the romance and time travel together. I really loved the world building and the plot. The characters weren't as likable in my opinion, but I know there are people that will enjoy this love story. I rated The Tiger Catcher three out of five bookmarks. Diehard fans of Paulina Simmons won't want to miss this story. For those that enjoy a little time travel with your romance, this is worth checking out. If you've also read The Tiger Catcher or other books by Paulina Simons, let's talk about it. Find me on social media or let's chat in the Shelf Addiction official Facebook group. Don't miss out on the author interview that I did with Paulina Simons. Hear about how she developed the time travel rules in this novel, as well as a few other fun tidbits. The interview is available now on the Shelf Addiction podcast. Thank you for downloading today's episode, and I hope you've enjoyed the review. Until next time, happy reading.